Hello friend, welcome to Salesforce tutorial. I am Prajakta from Paragate Technology. Before move to the development part, I like to discuss about the Salesforce functionality. We all know that Salesforce provide world's number one CRM solution for customer journey. So the functionality of the Salesforce we will see. So Salesforce functionality in that three points come. One is marketing administrator. Second is Salesforce automation and third is customer service and support automation. So the marketing administrator, this enables organization to manage their marketing campaigns from the initiation to lead and it comes under the marketing cloud. Second one is Salesforce automation. It is the strongest component in the Salesforce.com solution and it comes under the sales cloud. So it helps the sales people to manage their sales activity, to manage their leads and contacts and the opportunity and the forecast. Third one is customer service and support automation, which comes under the service cloud. It allows support team to automate and manage the request for the service and support by the existing customer. By using the service cloud, we can handle the customer request such as a, um, provide the advice about the product and the services. So this is of the Salesforce functionality and now we will see the life cycle of the lead. Okay, so go to the lead tab and click on it. Now here I will create a new lead. So click on new button to create a new lead. I will give my name. Yeah, Prajakta. this one and the company name is yeah paraguide so i will select lead source as a web i will select the campaign and yeah this one lead status is a mandatory fields and we will select the working stress Okay, I will give the address of my company. City. And the zip code is I think. Yeah. And the country. This one. So and i will take as a no and that's it i just want this much of information and i will save so lead life cycle in that we will see lead is get converted into the account contact and the opportunity so we have created our lead and now we are going to convert our lead into the respective object so here we have or we can say that Salesforce have provided the button, the convert button. So let's click on it. So it will give the platform to convert your lead into the respective object. So here you can see that the record owner is the current login user. Account name, I will uh, take the name of the company that uh, automatically come here. The opportunity name, if you want to give then give the opportunity name. If you don't want to create the opportunity, then you can enable by clicking on this checkbox. So I will create and uh, I will give the opportunity name as a test. Okay. So this is what the close status. Now I will select the subject for the task information. So I will say other. The priority I set to low and the status I will take suppose, uh, yeah. In case of in progress okay so three points must we have to remember when we convert our lead that three points are lead can be convert into the account contact and the opportunity okay so you should or only convert a lead that are qualified so it is the required your lead should be qualified and the third condition is that when you convert your lead that lead will not be viewable or editable okay so i will open account contact and the opportunity so i have created today's view so we will see 
how that lead is get converted into the account contact and opportunity so i am clicking on today's view so here you can see for the today's there is no account there is no contact and there is no opportunity so when i will convert this lead then contact opportunity and account is get created will get create so here you can see i have converted and the account is get created okay so i will just refresh this so the respective field of the lead is get created here you can see the account the name of the account is paraguide and let's open the contact so the first name and the last name from the lead is get converted into the fields of a contact and here you can see the contact is get created and this is what the opportunity so the opportunity is also created and that point we have discussed that the created lead is not or converted lead is not visible so i will open the today's lead and here you can see there is no lead because when you convert your lead into the account or contact or the opportunity that lead is not viewable or editable so suppose but yeah you can see your lead into the report so here you can see we uh, salesforce have provided some report like a lead lifetime lead by source and bound uh, we can see bounce lead so you can see your lead information on the report but not viewable and editable after it get converted so this is what the account that we have just created right now this is what the contract and third one is the opportunity so this is what the life cycle of the lead and it is very basic in any normal crm so as we know that salesforce is a crm okay thank you for watching this video guys to know about us you can visit you know www.paragate.com thank you bye bye